Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I want to gussy this up a little bit, add some plantings to the little terracotta pots I have at the end of the vineyard runs. This is my wild grape vineyard penging. It's growing great. There's lots of things I need to do to this and probably should have cut it down to here because I would like I would like a first run to go across here and then have shoots come up from it and then have them go across the top. So I may have to wait a season to do that. I think I might actually have to turn the tree a little bit in the pot so that it hugs this better. But considering everything you see here that isn't this bark color has grown since I planted this not that long ago, so, all right, let's get started. All right, here's what I'm going to be putting in these pots. It's a miniature daisy. And if you can compare, I'll try to get the leaves to be the right size. That's about the leaf size that I'm seeing. And that's how big the flowers will be. So that ought to look pretty cool in these little pots. So the first thing we have to do is figure out how to get this out and how to break it up and what it looks like when I do break it up. It's got a lot of roots. So I might just cut a plug to fit in this pot rather than the soil that I have in there. Let me find, so I can just dump the soil into this pot. And get a better tool to do that with. I opened up the holes in the bottom of these little pots so there would be better drainage. It was just a little tiny hole. My artist palette knives always come in handy. This is, this is a tool I can't be without. So what does this look like? I think I'm gonna to have to cut down to the height of one of these pots, just cut the roots away and make a plug that fits in the pot. So let me get started on that. I doubt there'll be any stones or anything in here or any hard roots. I'm encountering something in there. I like looking at miniatures on the internet, just people's dioramas and things. And of course now I get all kinds of advertisements about miniature things and this is this is a supplier that sells uh, fa fairy fairy garden supplies I guess this is a fairy garden supply my best way Not cutting as easily in this direction as it did the other way. There we go, that's not so bad.
All right, I'll be able to mold that into something to fit in here. Yeah. All right, I'll go into fast mode. I'll get the rest of them and we'll come back. All right, so I went into time lapse and I cleaned all that out, but I forgot to turn the camera on. So let me just clean up and we'll be ready for planting. All right, I'm gonna to have to cut more off the roots, a little bit more off the roots. So I put a little of the old soil on the bottom of this pot just so that nothing fell through because I'm going to use uh, the fines from my bonsai soil to pack in around this. Let's see, how's that? That's better, but it can be a little shorter. This seems like a lot of work for uh, just these little pots. Well, it comes with the territory. All right, I fit it in and I'm gonna save everything that falls off of this and see if I can get it going. And I have a little pot here of my bonsai soil finds, a little paper cup and try and get it in, work it down get more in, work it down, and get this to look like something. And hope it grows. Hope it gets those cute little flowers. That's what this is all about. And this is more of an artistic endeavor than, you know, a horticultural one. I'm just trying to, you know, Reproduce what I see every day. I love nature, but I also like the intersection of man and nature, and I find that to be fascinating. Sometimes infuriating, as I know I'm sure a lot of you agree, but sometimes very interesting. All right, now I promise I'll go into fast mode for the rest of these and actually turn the camera on. All right, let's put these little pots out. I don't think it matters where. You know, sometimes it's just fun to mess around. And that's what today was. I should bury that a little deeper, but that could be for another time. This one's a little meager. I'm hoping it grows nicely. There we go. That'll fill in. Right, let me water those up and this thing's on its way. It was just a fun day for me. What do you think? My wild grape vineyard penjing. Gee, I hope I get some grapes. I really do. Water these in pretty well. I'll go around twice. And I'll figure out where to plant that little bit of extra that I got, just in case. I watered this already today, but why not? All right.
we'll see you next time. I got some more touch-up work to do on some other projects, so there's always something. All right, thank you for keeping me company in my backyard. Thank <laughs> you.